Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dark Cat running Android 5.1 on the Nexus 6. So this ROM is pretty cool in terms of its dark card based material theme and a lot of customization options throughout its setting menus. And what I mean by colorization customization, or that's what I should have said in the first place. But yeah, you can do a lot of different color specific customization with this particular ROM in terms of your status bar, the quick settings toggles here, you can change up the text colors, you can change up the icon colors. You can do that on the status bar as well as your lock screen. So there's a lot of customization in terms of colors. And this includes a preset value based on Android and the Dark Cat preset color scheme. So what I mean by this is if you want to revert back, you're going to have a little reset button here throughout each different settings menu if you want to colorize your options. So it is going to have an Android based stock scheme, which is that white look. And then you have a Dark Cat, which is going to give a blue look. So you have Dark Cat, which is blue, and you have Android, which is the standard white. So if you want to revert back to either of these options, you have that. Or you can go in here and completely customize to any color you want based on the color values in the RGB. Pretty much unlimited, really. So yeah, a lot of really cool features in that regard. And I will go over that as I go throughout these settings menus here. But yeah, user interface is going to be your basic breakdown with Dark Cat ROM. You're going to have your lock screen menu, your status bar, status bar expanded. Weather, which is currently forced closing in this version. I don't know if that will be fixed later on or what. Uh, and you have the more settings here as well with your clock and alarm, weather panel, calendar events, and expanded desktop, which is fully functional. That's a little bit janky uh, in the expanded desktop here. It's not really causing any jank. It's actually a really stable and really fast and clean ROM performance-wise. But for some reason in here, it just gives a little jank. I think it's because of the actual scrollable here. Because once you scroll, it's pretty clean. But just a little weird there, uh, not a big deal, but anyway, you'll notice that. Other stuff here is the lock screen, and here you're going to have options to adjust a lot of different stuff. So if you want to change the weather on your lock screen, just go ahead and give that a little tick. Turn it on, you can show your location timestamps, you can go in here and do a monochrome uh, notification icon, or condition icon rather, and you can change that up based on color or vclouds as well. And you can colorize all the icons if you want to go that route. As I mentioned, you can set it back to Android default, or Dark Cat. So Dark Cat will do a custom value string with all the, the blue little looking scheme values and then Android will basically reset it back to, I guess, disabled. And then you can go back and re-enable it with its basic Android scheme. Uh, shortcuts, you can actually go in here and colorize all of the icons within your quick toggle shortcuts or you can go in here and adjust which shortcuts are actually in your quick settings toggles or the actual uh, swipe lock screen toggle. So you can choose whether or not you want to add apps in here specifically or you can go about choosing a specific action based on the little list values here. Not too much going on, but it is very nice to have these. You can also disable this if you don't want anything on your lock screen. Or you can go back to a default, as always. But like I mentioned, you can enable colorize all icons. So when you go back, you'll have your colors here, and you can actually change the colors of the icons. You can go in here and choose anything you want. So I'll just make them green. Uh, we'll set those green and then you can set the text to any color you want as well. So you can actually adjust them in multiple colors. You can also go back to the Android or back to Dark Cat. And this will be pretty much in any sub menu as long as you have the reset value up there at the top. You can adjust that to anything you want. So a lot of customization with this ROM, as I mentioned, with color schemes and what have you. So that's just the lock screen really quickly. And then the status bar, you are going to have custom gestures here with your status bar. You can use the brightness control slider up at the top if you want to use that. You also have double tap to sleep on the status bar to put the phone or your device to sleep, which is fully functional. Uh, I am running a Franco kernel release 25 as of this video, so you can flash anything you want to and you shouldn't have any issues. Uh, you do have clock and date as well. And you can go in here and adjust that preset scheme, as I mentioned, or you can adjust it based on anything you want. Now, if you do enable the show date option, you will be able to adjust pretty much any values as you'll see those become available after enabling that specific feature. Position, you can center it, hide it, or place it on the right. So a lot of different options there. You get your AM, PMs, date specific information if you enable that. So some great stuff there. Battery status, this is really, really cool with this particular ROM is it has this little circle dotted if you use the circle indicator or the icon. But yeah, you have your basic stuff here, icon, portrait, and landscape. You have circle text and you can hide it. You also have the ability to put the percentage inside next to the icon or hide it as always. But yeah, you have this really cool circle dotted. Now you're probably not gonna see it too good on the screen record, unfortunately, but if you can, you'll notice it up here. It will basically put little cuts or slits like a pie in there. It will do little circle dot links. So you can actually change these and you can get really, really crazy. You can actually make it look really cool. A lot of ROMs don't have this feature. And it's just one thing that sets apart or dark cat apart from those other ROMs. And I really, really like this feature.
You can also adjust the fill colors. Go in here and change this to red, and then you can adjust this to green if you want to. That's going to be inside. So just really, really cool stuff all over the place spread out through this ROM. I mean, it's super customizable, and that's one thing that I really like about this particular ROM. So if you're looking for a ROM that has a lot of customization in those values or those terms, you don't want to go and apply layers and try and figure out which layers you want to use for specific things on your actual device and framework, you can just go in here and set it up all on your own. So really, really cool stuff. As I mentioned, the battery status has pretty much everything you want, and you can adjust that on the circle dot really exclusively on this ROM. Uh, network icons, you can show your network activity if you want to. You can change up the colors on that as well. A lot of super informative stuff here. You can change the network icons, activity icons, airplane mode icons, and you can adjust the colors on every single one of those. And as I mentioned, you can set that to the Android or Dark Cat preset values as always. I'm going to stop talking about that because it's pretty much going to be in every menu. And I'm going to disable this. You also have your network speed indicator. You can change that up as well. You can enable this based on upload, download, or download and upload, and you can adjust all of the color options there as well. Currently, I have it on the Dark Cat preset. We'll go ahead and adjust that back on Android and re-enable it, and it's back to white. Now, you can adjust all of the information on those values if you are going to use this specific feature set or what have you, and it's in there and ready to go. They also have your notification and system icons, and you can colorize these as well. You all have your tickers and notification counts. Everything is enabled here. You can get super, super specific each time you enable a different uh, option. You can go and adjust the color values based on those. As you can see here, icons, ticker text, notification count icon, and notification count text. So it's really, really almost unlimited on what you can set here. So really cool stuff in the status bar. And then you have status bar expanded, which goes even further. You have your quick settings here, which you can adjust based on the quick pull down. You can enable this. It's only going to be on the right side. There is no left side functionality in this particular build. It might be included later. Not a big deal, but you have your brightness slider that you can enable if you want to use that, unless you use the one on the status bar that you slide back and forth. Uh, you also have your enlarge first row. Now, one thing that's really cool about this ROM as well that a lot of other ROMs don't have yet is when you go in here and you toggle on your Wi-Fi, you still get your advanced settings. Same thing with GPS and same thing with Bluetooth with this ROM if you disable the enlarge first row. So other ROMs, if you disable this, it will just become an on and off toggle. But with DarkCat, it is still going to give you the advanced settings. So I really, really like that about this particular ROM included with all the color schemes. You also have your Bluetooth settings here. Like I mentioned, the advanced tiles, so you have to enable these toggles in order to get those. Otherwise, they will just become on and off toggles. So as I mentioned, this is really cool and specifically exclusive for the Dark Cat ROM. So just go in here, toggle these on, and you'll get your advanced quick setting toggles. Really, really cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. But yeah, you're going to have your select and order tiles. As always, you can add a whole bunch of specific information or tiles in here. You have your mobile data, LTE, compass, screen timeout, lock screen, audio effects, NFC. You pretty much get the idea. But you can also adjust these. You can toggle them around based on your priorities. You can add and remove. So great, great stuff. In here as well, you can adjust the colors as I mentioned on all of this. Default stock Android is all going to be set as I actually like those. But you can go in here and adjust it to Dark Cat. And lo and behold, everything is blue. So you can adjust anything you want to in those quick toggle settings. Pretty cool stuff. Really, really cool. Now I have to go and adjust all my stuff over again. But we won't do that while I'm recording. You also have the header here. And you can show the weather in your header bar. You have to soft reboot or probably do a hard reboot actually. And you will have to enable GPS to actually get your location or coordinates set up, you know, perfectly. But you can adjust the colors and text on that header bar with your weather as well. Super great stuff with Dark Cat. Now, as I mentioned, the weather here settings is going to give you a force close. Unfortunately, it's just the way it is. But you do have the more section and you can set up your clock and alarm specific settings in here. Oh, look at that. It closed and crashed as well. So maybe that doesn't work. You also have your weather panel. So get, yeah. All right, guys. Yep. Yep. As I mentioned, <laughs> the weather is force closing and apparently the more section is force closing as well. Now, I could have swore when I went in here before it was working, but yeah, expanded desktop does work in here in the more section. I guess the other stuff is currently not working. It might be kernel related. I'm not sure. I actually didn't check into that. But anyway, that pretty much sums up Dark Cat. Um, I don't think there's anything really too technically useful in more anyway. Uh, it's just basic stuff. Uh, you want to change up the little specific applications there. But yeah, pretty much it. You get a lot of different sound and notifications in here, some integration there. They include some more 
uh, sound and notifications, nothing else display wise. You're not going to get LED notifications or anything like that built in. Ooh, buttons. I almost skipped this. So yeah, you are going to get your power menu. You can set up your reboot airplane mode, user settings, lock now or sound modes in your power button here. So if you want to set up anything specific in there, you have that option. You also have the screen wake up by using the volume up or down, and you can reorient those volume rockers when you are in a landscape mode or orientation so you can basically invert your volume rockers but yeah that pretty much does sum this up i hope i wasn't too too quick on talking and you guys understood everything uh but yeah that pretty much sums it up just make sure you go into developer options and enable that advanced reboot toggle if it is not already enabled by default but that pretty much sums up dark cat guys it's super customizable in terms of color scheming and a lot of cool stuff in the quick toggles when you want to have your advanced quick settings that you're not going to find in some other ROMs. Anyway, that pretty much sums up this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one.